Okay, so in my last video, I did a kick drum on this thing, a very simple thing. Uh, one I saw on Dr. Nix's last video when he went to see Anthony Marinelli, some synth god who, who's done loads of films, Blue Thunder, you know, well, Street Talk stuff, I think, I don't know, he's done loads, um, Michael Jackson's thriller, obviously. But anyway, um, I had to look at it a few times because the, the layout was different, but we've got the filter going into the VCA, envelope affecting the VCA, uh, and we've, in the mixer we just want to hear the um, VCA, not the not the filter because that just drones. So what he did quite simply was just turn everything down on the filter, uh, then we took our voice, he, um, he was going to go sign because naturally that's generally the one but he chose a triangle for some more harmonic content, as he said to Dr. Nick. So that goes into VCO3. Uh, and then what he did is he got... <clears throat> um, and then with the pitch, I mean, you can do what you want, but I found... I ended up just even him here because it was beefier. Uh, I wanted that <laughs> kind of thing. So he took the output of the envelope and then put it into the control of the envelope here it looks like it's normalized already but look he did this so i'm just doing it anyway so um that's going to control the voice there and then also he had the this is normalized to the filter so we had it controlling the filter and um, that's from the envelope then he was he uses um white noise to Add some more depth and body to the actual sound so um, and here he, he might, he, it was just maxed out so white noise maximum level then he malted it so he took the noise out put it into the malt then he took one copy of that um, hold on let me get the other end of it Holding my phone here, using your weakest hand, and then he ran that into the VCO there. Um, I'm just going to set it where I had it. Um, then he took the other copy, took the other copy there, and then ran that into the filter again. And um, so where are we at? Bit more, got a bit more to it now, hasn't it? A bit more there, and then you can start shaping it a little bit. And then you can start pitching it up if you want. See if that sounds like sounds more like a Tom drum and this is what I'm on about so I had it pitched down and if we go to my what I had running on here if you can start that just turn the tempo down a bit so in the higher octave you sound like a little sin tom down the bottom you know what I mean <laughs> so yeah that's you, you, you basically with this little patch here you're just getting like three three drummed in one so that's just and the sign sounds virtually the same I think let's have a listen to that Yeah, so virtually the same, and then you can just get it as neat as you want or what. Some more tone coming out of it. So let's have a bit. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's because of the key I've pressed. Actually, if I use a lower key on that thing, it'll probably be all right. Anyway, there you go.
that's your kick drum just mulk the noise into the filter and the voice itself and yeah you've got a beefy little kick drum there <laughs> Let's turn that up. Weird now. <laughs> Sounds a bit better. Yeah, anyway, yeah, so that's a kick drum. Enjoy. <laughs> 